Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about breaking up the fallow ground and what it means and what the Lord requires of his children in Jesus name. So let's pray. So Holy Spirit I ask you to take over me right now and speak through me to your sons and daughters in Jesus name. Amen. So welcome everybody and I just bless you all. Thank you for all your prayers and know that I'm also praying for you too. Um, just thank you for all the subscribers, all your love, all your support and those even who've been with me right from the beginning. I love you all and God bless you. So um, let's get into this and um, what does it mean? So the last while the Lord is doing a deep work in the hearts of his people and a lot of those are those in leadership as well in corporate churches but just in general our hearts the lord is doing a big work the last while a lot of healing um but now he wants us to dig a little bit deeper so i was asking the lord what is it he wants to do this week and he just said break up the fallow ground prepare the hearts of the people for what I'm gonna do so just let me tell you a little bit what the Lord is saying okay so this Christian walk is a process and when you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ when you repent of your sins and you're walking with the Lord the Lord requires us to grow and to obey him and to be in his word now in the roots right down in our heart if there's no word on the foundation, if, if your foundation is not on the word, the word inside of you, you have nothing to go on. You'll be running all over the place looking for prophetic words. When there's nothing inside of you, you're not allowing the Lord to change you. Some are resisting the Holy Spirit and what he wants to do in our hearts. Because we just want it now, we want our destiny now, we want to know what we're doing. We want to know where we're going and um, just like Abraham you know God could have told him every little bit step by step but no he had to walk by faith he had to trust God he had to believe God and this is where we're at at this moment now is the Lord wants us to have faith you know you might just be going through things changes in your life crazy stuff happening but God wants us to have faith in him trusting in him and in his word so you have to know the word and the word has to be inside of you deep down all the way down and we're just going to talk about soil and land now just like a little bit of a parable to, to make you understand what the lord is talking about so i love gardening okay so just picture this as your heart all right and in, in your christian walk for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about okay so if you go out to your garden and you have your soil just say you bought new flowers and you want to plant them you're not just going to go out and you're not just going to put in the new plants right there around everything else around all the weeds all the thorns all the dead flowers dead bushes whatever it may be no you're going to prepare the ground first it has to be cultivated it has to be tilled it has to be sown it has to be ready you have to pluck up some things okay so you're going to get your shovel and you're going to be digging down and you're going to be pulling the weeds out thorns pulling up some dead flowers there probably putting in some new soil uh, and putting it all down put in your plant take it out of the the plastic thingy put it in so that the roots can go right down but then what are you going to do it's going to look all nice then and all prepared so you're going to water it then okay so if we go just bear with me here to your heart when you get saved okay there's still your soul there's still you there's still your attitudes your behavior what you're doing and the way you treat people and there might be pride bitterness you're probably still hanging on to the past thinking of the past you probably don't like people you could be church hopping going from one place to another you know and god can't do that you know if, if you're not stable if you're not um in one place so that he can do this on you okay because 
you, you mightn't like a pastor here, you might like this, so you're jumping from one place to another. But, you know, God wants you to stay in one place, okay, so that you can grow. So you can hear the word. Faith comes by hearing, okay. And even videos like this, but in the word, okay. So you can be listening to a whole lot of things and have it in ears at the same time. But then you won't know what's going on in your life. And the prophetic words and all of this. But God wants the word to be inside of you. So basically what the Lord is saying to his children at this time is rend your heart. Repent. Repent means change your mind. Turn from your ways. Whether it's sin, hidden sin. At this time the Lord is doing a work in leadership as well. Those who are not meant to be there. He's removing. And he's putting in the people who are meant to be there into their positions not only in church but also in the secular world in jobs businesses wherever it may be or people who are not doing their job the way they're supposed to be okay and just abusing their position not treating people the way they should or doing their job properly they're probably lazy procrastinating as well gossiping critical all this stuff is in our heart. So God is removing people. I'm going to give you all these scriptures now in a minute. What the Lord has been sharing with me. So this is a very important time. Okay. Because God is preparing us for what he wants to do. And what he's He's going to be doing in the, in the future. But it all starts with your heart. But people want to skip the process. And jump ahead of God. I want my calling now. I want my position now. I want a prophetic word. Um, or if God is bringing you through the training process, trying to get this stuff out, no, 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 you're backing off, you know, and you don't want to do it. You come away from the things of God. You're going back into the world, and then you're you're trying to go again, and you're hitting a brick wall. It's because you're resisting the Holy Spirit. You're not letting the Lord do the work in your heart. So this is for some people today. You have to yield, surrender to the Holy Spirit and what He wants to do. Okay. And all the offence, rejection, all of this, you know, if God is re removing. Sometimes people will think, you know, oh, you know, that's not God, you know, and it's the enemy and he's trying to push me out. But it probably is God because he has to do this work in the hearts, okay? So especially if you're in leadership, you know, if to be a good shepherd and if people are not listening or if they're in the wrong place, God will remove people. And if you don't believe that, maybe you should get into the word of God and learn about who God is and how God does things because his ways are not our ways okay so we're talking about the soil the cultivating the getting the land ready and if you look that up yourself about how farmers do this or how gardening is about how to prepare the ground so these weeds these thorns are all the little things that could be hindering what God is doing inside of your heart never mind anybody else you know Sometimes we have the, this problem where we judge and we criticize. You can find a fault in every church, in every person, every pastor, in your family, but you're not looking at yourself. You're not letting the Lord do the work in you. And you think you know it all. You know, the Bible verses off by heart, but there's, there's some junk in there, some weeds, thorns, that God is saying, let me deal with that. Let me in and let me take it out. Okay, so when stuff is uprooted, okay, it's think about all the roots, they're stuck everywhere and they have to come all the way out. Could be a root of bitterness, could be gossip, criticism, um, it could be worry, anxiety, just worrying all the time. What if God doesn't come true? What if this? Some people are angry at God because they're not healed yet in a certain way. This is where you really have to trust God and have faith. But watch the words that come out of your mouth at this time. It's very, very important because if you're saying, well, you know, where's the miracles? Where's my healing? Nothing's happening yet. Go back and read the book of Exodus about how the children were in the wilderness, the way they were with Moses. And just search your own heart. Am I like this? Do I, do I mumble? Do I complain? You know, when I'm in church or if, if I don't see anything happening in my time, the way I want it. I can get my healing today, but they did what's wrong with that and then you're bleh, and all this poison is coming out of your mouth some people they want this supernatural big experience from god but this is exactly how god does things he starts in the heart the small things but like i said some people don't want to hear that they want to skip it 
give me a prophetic word, do some magic miracle or something like that, you know, something that everyone can see that I'll be like, <gasps> you know, but God is dealing with the hearts right now. Okay, so have an ear to hear what the spirit is doing. Okay, so God is saying to dig deeper. If there's anything hidden, bring it out, let God do it. Okay, because you don't want to go the other way of judgment where it'll just come out the wrong way. Okay, because that's what God does. God is a father, so he'll correct us as well. Okay, so you might as well just lay it all down now and come to the throne and just before God in your own time even and just surrender okay and some people say you know um I can't do this and I can't give up this and I can't stop this you can't do anything by yourself you can only do things by the grace of God uh, it's Christ who strengthens you you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you okay so if we're trying to do it all ourselves or in the flesh and you're getting frustrated you're getting angry you're saying things that are just not like you at this time okay that's because this stuff is coming out and it has to go so these weeds and these thorns are coming out okay so even in my own walk this is just not just because this is coming from me or your pastor or somebody who you're hearing it from it's for all of us it's to prepare your heart for what the lord wants to do so God is also calling us to serve him faithfully. So we're still on this, what the Lord is saying, and deeper mode of prayer. Okay, so people can go, you know, or in your own home or in, in groups, you know, and you can pray and you can pray and you can pray. But there's also carnality as well, okay? Like you can be in totally in the flesh and not know what's going on spiritually. Because sometimes when you pray, you have to go and um, you... You can go into the spirit realm basically you know if if you go deeper in prayer and you're focused on the lord and you're speaking the word or you can be like and all over the place you know our father you know and you're not listening and god needs us to listen and god needs us to focus because you have to have spiritual understanding at this time okay and this is where we have to listen to each other and if the fivefold ministry as well is meant to work together we have to listen to each other one can't lord over somebody else and think you know it all we have to work together okay and if somebody needs prayer go and get prayer that's why we're all here you know god is ministering to us at this time so the word he is saying is to rend your heart repent just take your time seek the lord he wants us to come before him in worship in all truth and come before him and lay it all down right now okay now you don't want to miss this what god is doing because if you back off if we don't listen if we're oh i want to go further you're going to miss it okay so just go with god and just let god do the work in your heart so that your heart is ready uh, for the watering of the word of god and for the destiny and for what god is doing to prepare you for where he's bringing you because just say if you have a high calling you're not going to be up there straight away you will have to go through these things there will be tribulations there will be tests there will be trials there will be fire but go through it just surrender and let it go okay and we can also get into this mode of self-pity what about me look at this i'm going through this or i'm sick and all of this okay yes god loves you and god knows where you are you know, and you can attack ministers as well, saying, well, look at me, you don't know my situation. I have a life as well. I go through things. But this is where we have to have faith in God and trust that God is doing it in us. But we just have to submit to his Holy Spirit, to his will, okay? And be obedient to what he's telling us to do, okay? And be in the word, declare the word, speak the word over yourself. It's very important, okay? So, yeah. So sowing the seed as well, which is like before that, that plant goes down or the, the, the crops or whatever it may be, like the word of God, you know, you have to have it deep down inside of you. So if you don't have this word, if this is not going into you and you're not reading it, but it's, you're not understanding it, you know, and you're just going for all over the place for something you want, it's not going to happen okay it's like you don't go to low babies in school and then go to university next week you know it goes in stages okay so let me give you the scriptures that the lord gave me so he said in hosea 10 12 sow to yourselves righteousness reap in mercy 
Break up your fallow ground, for it's time to seek the Lord till he come and rains righteousness on you. Sow to yourselves righteousness. In Jeremiah 4, 3, For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your fallow ground and sow not amongst thorns. So you have to be separate. Okay, so if there's hidden stuff in there, stuff in the background, we have to be people of integrity as well. You know, not like one thing and then, you know, people can come out and, and, and they could be in leadership or doing the things of God, but there's still junk in there. And that's not the way God is. You know, God has to get this stuff out of you. You have to be pure. You have to be living holy, you know, right before God. Just totally open and surrender to the Holy Spirit, okay? Because otherwise you'll just stumble, okay? And then God will be like, no, these thorns, these weeds have to come out okay and as well wounded soldiers can't heal wounded soldiers okay or if you have something hidden in the background and then you're trying to say something to somebody okay so you have to let god deal with that okay or whatever it is going in your life you know in, in your family life your marriage your home your job or you're struggling at the minute this is very important that you have faith in god that you're believing him that you're trusting him that you are speaking his word over your situation don't moan and complain get to this place where you're like okay god this is happening at this minute okay i've just lost my job i've i've only this amount of money what will i do and just listen to the lord or be around other christians go to a church this is where you need to be around the things of god so that you know where you're going and um how god will, will take you out of it and what he'll do okay because there's certain stages in Isaiah 5 6 I will lay it waste I will not it will not be pruned or hold but briars and thorns will come up I will also charge the clouds to rain so no rain will come on it so like I said if there's that stuff inside there hidden down let the Lord dig down deep okay to get this out so he can heal you you know it could be something from your past it could be something somebody did to you it's still there and you know when um you need the Lord to do this work in you. Say if somebody says something or you hear a, a sermon or something and you get offended, you don't like it, you get mad at the pastor, mad at the prophet, whoever it may be, and, and you go off. Well, there's something wrong there. It's not the other person. It's probably you. Okay. Now, this got said to me before when I had all of that junk inside of me and I got so angry and I walked out and I told you in a different video, the Lord said to me, it's because of pride. You're not letting me get in there to get this out. So I had to repent of a whole load of things and go through the fire for God to burn that stuff out and dig it right down to the roots to get it out. You know, you could be angry at somebody who left you. You could be angry at a church or somebody did something to you. But how long are you going to hang on to that? You know, or, or crying over, uh, say if you're divorced and the person has moved on and you're still hanging on to it. You know, and, and God is like, I need you to move on because you're still sad, you're still down, you're still looking backwards. So I want you to go forward. Let me do this work inside of you. Okay, or if there was a loss or something, let the Lord comfort you. Don't cover anything up yourself. Let the Lord do a healing inside of you okay because he's just the best at it holy spirit is just the best okay so god requires obedience at this time because you see if we're stubborn arrogant run ahead of god god will bring us right back again if we're church hopping god will bring us right back again don't run ahead of god and don't procrastinate as well let him do this work you know, you could be drinking, you could be smoking, you could be sleeping around, there could be masturbation, there could be anything. Bad language. Let the Lord do the work. Don't judge or criticise anybody else. This is stuff that God can do in you. But you also have a part, is to get up and do something yourself. Okay, because some people say, I'm just waiting on God, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. Yeah, I know it all. And God's like, hey... Let me do this work inside of you. Okay. Now some things can be like, oh, okay, that stings a little bit. But that's conviction. That's good. That's good when you, when you feel that little, okay, I'm not really liking this message, but I know it's for me. Okay. So I sat through a whole load of things like this when I was just filled with junk. 
weeds, thorns, choking me, everything. Okay. So God is also getting rid of this religious spirit as well. This Pharisee-like spirit in a lot of people and in leadership as well. He's removing it by the root. He's pulling it out because it's hindering the flow of the Holy Spirit. And what the Holy Spirit wants to do. Holy Spirit is a person. Holy Spirit wants to help you. Wants to heal. Wants to move in whatever way he wants. Even in corporate churches. And some people are like, nope. Not letting you in, not surrendering, rules, regulations, put up the wall there. But we have to let Holy Spirit flow, okay? And sometimes we resist the Holy Spirit, whether you know that or not, okay? So we have to let him have his way. Um, and more worship. The Lord wants us to worship him more and to get into his presence at this time it's very important okay for what god is doing please don't miss any of this don't skip the training process of what god wants to do because he wants to do great things so we have to be filled with god's word word excuse me spiritual understanding like i said in the other video about healing and about position god is telling us to get into our position he is also Putting in kings and removing kings, which is in Daniel 2.21. He changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings. He sets up kings. Uh, he gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Okay, so this is a specific word what God is doing in the body of Christ right now. So he's kind of like shoveling things like, like a sieve. Okay, so just go along with the Lord. Like I said in the other video, just, just take it. You know, just go, just do it, God, just have your way, whatever it is that I'm going to go through. Um, just prepare me, Lord, and give me the grace to keep going. Give me the grace, Father, not to give up, but to trust you, Lord, that you're taking me through this and you're bringing me where I need to go. Okay, because we can go ahead of God in the flesh. So all of this other stuff in our hearts, whatever it may be in your walk, because your walk is different to mine. Okay, if you find yourself sitting there and you're very critical, you, you, you slag off people the way they look, the way they dress, um, you, you point out every fault in everybody else, but you, you don't look at the beam in your own eye, as Jesus says. These can all be hindrances, you know, and sins here and there and things that we do, people we hang out with, places we go, things we look at when nobody's looking. Or on the computer, on your phone, when your husband or your wife leaves or goes out for the night. What are you doing? These things are important. How do you treat your parents? What, like, what do you post online as well? Just think about these. All these small things matter to God. They also matter to your walk. Um, and the destiny that God has for you. So if we're staying here... And we're not progressing we're not growing well you'll stay there going around and around and you'll get frustrated you'll get angry you won't know why you, you'll be you'll be jealous when people are getting blessed you know there's a lot of people who get jealous when, when people get blessed you know and um sometimes when people are going through a hard thing or they're going through a very painful um sickness or something like that you know and can get angry you know just search your heart with that okay as well and come before god because know that god is your healer nothing's too hard for god god is a miracle working supernatural god i have seen him do amazing amazing things in my life so if you can do it in my life he can do it in yours you just have to have faith and trust okay don't go backwards and don't walk away from god because you could miss your blessing so a deeper prayer life spiritually in spirit and in truth so in worship this is where god wants us right now and god will reveal his word to you and what needs to change and then just say look lord I, I repent just have your way take it out of me do what you have to do it's as simple as that because we don't want people coming to us saying okay like words of correction you know to ourselves or a word or something like that okay and also learn to receive words of correction because some people get offended. How could you say that to me? That's not for me. Why would you say blah blah? I used to be like that. I'm listening to, to messages and I get angry and I get offended, but God was doing that work. That's the work God is doing. And then that's the time when people give up. 
they actually give up and they walk away. Now, I was saying this to, to a friend there recently that um, I was in a meeting before and there was uh, an older guy there and there was a prophet and he came down to him and said that he was supposed to be a general in the army of God. And this older man just started to weep. And the prophet said, is that true? And he said, yes. And he said, you had a calling on your life, but you chose to do something else. He literally missed his whole destiny and that was it and this guy was weeping because he knew that he just walked away from the things of god when god had something specific for him to do in the body of christ in in a church and he went a different way so it could be the people you're hanging around with this is also you know when god is calling you to do his will you know the enemy will throw everything at you to keep you back you know uh procrastination he'll put oppression on you this is where you have to have the whole armor of god you have to be speaking the word so you're in a spiritual battle okay so it's not just like yes god is going to do this for me no you have to fight you have to pray you have to go through deeper things of prayer and if there's no prayer life in your life you'll be all over the place you'll be a mess and if you're not declaring the word and you'll, you'll be going all over the place looking for prayer you know, you'd be saying, yeah, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. But is your life shown that? Is your light shown? Are you speaking like a Christian? You know, that's why some people do say, oh, they're all hypocrites, they're this, that. I used to say the same thing. Because the people who I knew years ago, who professed that they were Christians, were not living at all like it. So I was thinking, what's the difference? You know, so that's when I was going through my... Um, training you could say I didn't understand I didn't understand that God was trying to get this stuff out of me because I had a calling on my life so I had a choice to say yes Lord or no leave me alone this is too hard I don't want to do this but I said Lord I surrender just do what you have to do and it was painful the cross is painful people forget that but the cross needs to be talked about because that's where we have to lay down stuff and this Passover time, think about it, the resurrection of Christ, the resurrection power of God inside of you and inside of me. You know, we have to let Jesus come alive in us, you know, and, and to do what he wants to do in us. But you can't go and do this unless he deals with your heart first. Okay, so that, that just his spirit can just flow in you. So that you can also minister to others, wherever it may be. Okay, so if there's anything hidden, just lay it down now. So what can happen to your heart is stubbornness, hardness. If you find yourself sitting in a place or listening to a sermon, like, that didn't do anything for me. Well, I didn't get my miracle. And you're talking like this. Well, I don't get convicted anymore. That's exactly why. It's because of hardness of heart. That is where you need to let the Lord inside to break that off you. Because God cannot move you forward if there's a hardness of heart, if there's sin. You know, and then if you're in sin, you're trying to justify it. Well, I'm under the grace of God. Well, God knows me. God knows my heart. Oh, he does know your heart. That's why he wants to change it. So you can tell when people talk and how they act. You know, um, how mature they are in christ in the word because there's carnal christians and then there's mature and there's very few that make it to the mature because they're still there and they're still in and out of the things of the world they're still sinning they're still justifying their sin and um, they'll get mad at you and uh, they want itching ears for sermons they want god loves you god loves you god loves you everything's going to be great everything's going to be brilliant but god is like just let me inside, let me do this. And then some people give up, they don't want to hear these type of messages. Just tell me smooth things the word says. Tell me nice things, tell me how great I am. Tell me how good I am. God loves you, God sees who you can be. God has a great destiny for you. He loves everything about you, from your head down to your feet. But he has to go inside first. So lay it down. Nobody's better than anybody else. Okay, so we're all going through this. It could be anger, bitterness, you know, hatred as well. All of these things inside. 
and, and how your, your train of thought is towards people, towards yourself. What way are you speaking over yourself? What way are you speaking about the leadership in church? Do you think you know it all that you can change it? You know, do you not like specific people around you or fighting with your family all the time and then you're totally different in church? Just go with me on this, okay? Because these are things that God does in us, okay? So God is doing all this and he's, this is how he heals as well. And some people need deeper healing because of stuff. But it's very important, brothers and sisters, let go of the past. We've all had crazy things happen to us, things done to us, nasty things. God knows exactly what you've been through. But we need to let him heal. And sometimes it can be painful. Okay, but God is there. He never leaves you. He never forsakes you. He's your comforter. That is exactly why he's saying, come into my presence. Get before me in worship, in my word, and just let me inside to do this work. Okay, and it's amazing. And then God will cultivate your heart. And then with the water, and he'll, he'll just heal you. And with the word of God, and you'll begin to grow. You'll begin to change okay so there's no condemnation okay it's and, and judging people all right because everybody's going through their own thing so be nice and be kind to others watch your own walk work out your own salvation with fear and trembling okay god is for you not against you but don't mess with god don't mock the things of god don't mock those in leadership you know don't there's a lot of people who are against the prophetic. It's crazy. You know, and they say these horrendous things, horrible things, when you don't realize that you're actually fighting against God. It's... Anyway, and then that's another process that you'll have to go through for God to deal with that. Okay. So God is the vine dresser. Mm. So he's the one who's looking after this, you know, and Christ the head. And we're the body. Okay, so he's going to fix things and he's going to purge things and he's going to uproot roots and, and weeds and all of these things. And pride, especially pride and stubbornness is just going to come out of people. And all the other little, the little foxes that spoil the vine, you know, all these, these nasty things. Some people don't even realize that what they're like. You know, that, that's why it has to be God to show them. So in Joel 2.13, rend your hearts, not your garments. Turn to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and he is merciful, slow to anger, of great kindness, and repented him of evil. Okay, so God also judges as well. Okay, so God has to discipline us and correct us in a way as well. So if, if we think we know it all, if we're filled with junk on the inside, you know, you can be... Um, you fight with people, you could be argumentative, uh, lash out at people you don't realise that you're like that, you know? Are you rude? Are you unkind? Are you thankful? Let's go into all these things. Um, unholy, you know, disobedient to parents, shouting back at your parents, or leadership, or your pastor. You think you know it all, more than this person. You don't think you that that prophetic word was right, so you're not going to listen to that. Hmm... So let's have a little think of that. Okay, what what other things is there in our lives? You know, and even in your own home as well, you know, and procrastinating and God wants you to do certain things. And always remember, you'll always start low. He'll start you doing small things. And it will always start with you and your family. Okay, to love your family, those around you, because we can be so spiritual and, ah, and praying in tongues all the time and in the ward 24 7 you know you don't have time for your family and you're shouting at people and you're you're not going to church this time or whatever it may be you know and god is like take it down a little bit you know love one another love your family come away from things of the world whatever it may be be saying to you you know, or you could be watching certain things that God will be saying, I need you to come away from that. Or music of the world, and you're letting all of this stuff in, and you're singing all these, some of the, the rap stuff out there is all about suicide, it's all about death, you know, and you're, you're singing this over yourself. So that's obviously for certain people today. So just receive that, but just think about it also. 
ponder on that word, okay? So the word that we should be pondering on is the Bible, the word of God, because it's quick, it's powerful, it's alive, and it rightly divides the word, okay? So it separates things, okay? And it convicts us as well. So if you're reading, like, Romans, you know, read all of that, you know, what, what the Lord says, you know, and just search your heart, because... You know, some people skip past things, you know, this could be another one. You know, you could be living with your partner. Fornication just means sleeping with someone who you're not married to. You know, or going to nightclubs and just sleeping around, having one night stands and repent, or I'll repent next week, or I'll repent next week. That's not repentance. You know, but the whole fornication thing, sleeping with someone or cohabiting with someone, and you're not married, and then you're like, oh, you know, I want this person to get saved. But well, you know, that that's conviction, you see. Because you know when you're doing something that's not in God's will. Okay. So that's a conviction as well, you know. And then stressing then, worrying. Say if uh, you're in your family, and a spouse or your your kids are not saved, and you're worried, and you're you're... you're getting stressed and you're saying things and there's conflict and there's strife and you're fighting and there's all this stuff you know but this is where you have to trust God and how you overcome this stuff is with love you love your family don't bash your family don't say horrible things about your kids about the leadership in your church you know I've been in churches where so many people have said things about the church and leadership that word courses had to be broken off the place and leadership because it's been people just I don't like that and I don't like this person and I don't like that because did you hear what they did five years ago blah 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 okay and then we're like Lord send revival Lord what well there's no revival well why why is God not doing revival because it starts with you and me in our hearts so obedience is better than sacrifice and Amos 5 4 seek me and you will live so what's the word for today the Lord is saying seek me come to me you know God is loving God is not there with a bat waiting for you to say okay Lord I did this and I did this please help me I'm sorry I'm sorry God loves you he just needs you to say look okay I've treated this person like this Lord um, uh, I've done this yesterday Lord and I'm sorry and you know when repentance is no, you know when you you're truly sorry and you're crying and you just you know you're not going to do it again by the grace of God. And then people who say you know I I can't stop doing this or or some people will also say that's legalism. That is not legalism. It's called obedience. Legalism is like the rules, the laws, living by the law. Boom, 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 boom. Or God is going to whack it across the head. God is going to destroy America. God is going to destroy Ireland. Ugh. And all of this nonsense. No, and that's also course in your country as well. Be careful what we're saying. Okay, we have to go by the spirit of God. It's not by us, it's not what we think God is going to do. Because God's ways are different than our ways. We have to be led by the spirit of God. Be careful with these words that are coming out of our mouth. What we're saying over ourselves, over our church, over our family, your business. But if you're going through this place now where it just seems dry, this is a very important time. Read the book of Exodus with Moses. Do not be like the children in the wilderness. That's your conviction right there. Okay. So then, my brothers and sisters, let's get to this one. John 6, 51. I am the living bread, said Jesus which came down from heaven, if any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. The bread that I will give him is my flesh, which I will give for the life of this world. So Jesus says, I love you. I am with you even till the end. Okay. So remember when Jesus was with the disciples, he was training them the whole time. The whole time. And then he commissioned them and he said, now go. Okay, and also this is the other thing as well. Share your faith with people. Even if you're going through stuff, even if you're going through a sickness, you know, share the Lord with people because there's so many people, right? Even if we're going through things, there are people who are lost out there. They're hurting. They are broken. Uh, they, it might look like they have it all, 
but they're actually broken on the inside okay so just share your faith with people love people surrender to the lord and if you don't know the lord yet just say lord jesus come into my heart lord jesus christ i believe you are the son of the living god i believe you died for me on the cross and rose again the third day and i believe you are coming again forgive me of all of my sins i reject satan and the things of this world fill me with your holy spirit lead me every single day holy spirit by your grace lord help me lord to live for you in jesus name amen and share the lord with people jesus said you will know them for their love for one another we have to love each other care for each other this is an amazing thing and um, what god is doing at this moment and he's building us up again he's raising us up to be this mighty army we're warriors do you know that like warriors you have to see yourself as more than a conqueror that you can do all things through christ who strengthens you no matter what it is you're you're struggling or you're, you're, you're trying to do something or you've, you're going through such a hard time right now god knows and god is there and his grace is sufficient for you the power to overcome and to get through difficult times uh, struggling situations hard times desperate times times of tears and pain you know and loss he is your comforter he is your healer okay so if we're angry and if we're mad and if we're critical and gossiping and bashing other people and slandering other people you know just have a little think about that and it's never too late to repent but do it today because today is the day that your whole life can change and you know your life your presence in someone's life can change their life for the good or for the bad and how you treat people or what you say to people so love people be kind and let the lord do this healing work inside your heart so even at this time like i was in a mode of prayer there during the week and even my own prayer life i pray a lot anyway that's not to boast that's just boasting in christ and what christ does through me but um it's like the prayer life has gone even deeper you know and it's in the spirit realm you know and i was praying for a specific thing you know and what i seen in the spirit was me as a warrior and this is how god has shown me um when you know you're praying warfare and you're 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 praying interceding on behalf of of something the enemy is doing okay but when you go deep you see like i said you go in the level shack oh lord in the level shack but you go into prayer like deep in the in spirit and in truth you know and in worship as well and um god will do amazing things but he brought me into this uh, vision and it was i was a warrior and i had a flame and sword but there was also angels with me and it's like we were fighting in the second heaven you could say against what i was praying for but i had a, a fiery sword and it was really long, and i seemed tall in this vision but the angels were with me and i was fighting with them so this is when and i even felt praying in, in these tongues that it was different if you if you understand you see sometimes people don't understand spiritual things because see there's different levels you see everyone's at a different level but if you're starting off just walking with the lord you'll get there okay like i said it's a process just let the lord lead you so it's gone through this you know and then I'd say it was about half an hour of a prayer and it literally then Jesus just appeared and he did some but anyway that's a different level of interceding of prayer okay so this is where God wants us now and if you're going through something pray and ask specifically okay don't moan and complain if you see something wrong or gossip about it or talk about it pray and prayer changes things because prayer is so powerful brothers and sisters and even in my own life like i'm even believing god for certain things myself and it's taken years but i know it's going to happen okay so this is where the faith walk by faith and not by sight all the crazy stuff that's happening around you or in your body 
declare and decree the word of God in Jesus name so I'm going to leave you with that now and we'll just say a prayer okay so I hope that blessed you today and this is a message of edification and building and watering with the word and just um let let the the word of God inside of you and have those ears to hear and to receive God's word for where he's going to bring you because it's amazing amazing what God is doing right now okay so heavenly father we just thank you for this word we love you God we love you Abba the great I am I bless your holy name God father I thank you for the work that you're doing in all of our hearts Lord Lord I just pray Lord that um for grace for your people those who are struggling those who don't know where they are right now they're all over the place Lord bring them to that place where they're in your word Lord, so you can do this work, this cultivating in their heart, Lord, and the healing that's needed, Lord, but that they surrender to your will, God, and stop running ahead of you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I just pray a blessing over the hearers right now, Lord, healing in their bodies, finances, Lord, for those who need it, Lord, those who are struggling right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father God, I just pray for those uh, who are alone. Bring the right people around them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for jobs for people, Lord. Extra strength, Lord. Grace, Lord. I come against every stronghold, everything the enemy is doing to try and hold your people back, Lord. That that's broken off them right now. Any stagnation, procrastination, Lord. I break that off, people, in Jesus' name. Any lies that the enemy has put in people's mind about church, about leadership, about the word, or not listening to the word and trying to snatch it later on, Lord, I cancel that right now in Jesus' name. Father God, protect your children from the evil one, Lord, and those who are just new in you, Lord. Keep them, Lord. Protect them, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And may we grow deeper with you, Lord, in our walk, in, in spirit and in truth, Lord, and being filled and rooted and grounded on the foundation of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless them, Lord. So I love you all. I love you all, subscribers and all new subscribers. God bless you. So I'll see you in about a week or so, okay? So have a great week.